Hello and good morning. Thank you all for being here today and taking time to celebrate our colleagues and friends for their remarkable service and contributions to our college. With this wonderful annual event, we have the opportunity to recognize our faculty and staff members who exhibit exemplary performance, as well as give special awards to our friends of the college. Information about our awardees will be posted to the college website. We receive many nomination packets for highly qualified members of the college, highlighting the impressive and outstanding contributions of our faculty, our staff, our students, and our programs across the college. All of the nominees should be commended for their exceptional performance and for bringing excellence and distinction to our college and to San Jose State University. I would like to thank the review committee. This year, the review committee was made up of the awardees from last year's event. They spent a great deal of time reviewing, reading the nomination packets and making their recommendations. So thank you for making this event possible. We will now begin our awards presentation. Please sit back, enjoy, and be impressed by all that you will learn. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to the College of Health and Human Sciences Awards Ceremony. My name is Ashwini Vagle, and I'm the Department Chair for Nutrition, Food Science, and Packaging. The Friend of the College Award is for those who have a history of continuous significant engagement of support and collaboration with our college. I'm pleased to be able to recognize one of this year's Friend of the College Award recipients, Dr. Florence Wu, President of Amtech for over 20 years. Amtech is a laboratory that strives to ensure and help clients with fast, reliable, and accurate analytical data and provide total solutions to help ensure food safety, water quality, and environmental health. Dr. Wu earned her PhD in botany from University of Tennessee and has over 20 years of academic and professional experience in the area of microbiology and mycology. She's also a co-inventor of several sampling and testing methods and devices in the field. Dr. Wu was awarded Woman-Owned Business of the Year in Fremont, California, and also the Enterprising Woman of the Year in 2009 by, by the National Association of Women Business Owners in Silicon Valley. Since 2018, Amtech has accepted several of San Jose State University students working as interns, specialists, technicians, quality assurance, and many more. Under Dr. Wu's leadership, Amtech not only provides San Jose State students to explore their careers through internships and working experiences, Dr. Wu's impact and leadership cannot be overstated as she's awarded Friend of the College Award. The Friend of the College Award is for those who have a history of continuous significant engagement to support and collaborate with the College of Health and Human Sciences. Major Ashley Tasso is a volunteer instructor for the Department of Aerospace Studies, Air Force ROTC Detachment 45. She received her commission from the Reserve Officer Training Corps at Florida State University in April 2012. Prior to her current assignment, Major Tasso served as space strategist for the 603rd Air Operations Center where she developed the Joint Forces Air Component Commander's Operational Level, Joint Air Power Strategy, and coordinated space effects in support of contingency and crisis action planning for the United States Air Force in Europe and Africa. As the Program Director, Major Tasso has expanded the Department of Aerospace Studies reach across the local area, building relationships with San Jose City Council and other universities such as Stanford and UC Santa Cruz. During her three-year assignment at San Jose State University, Major Tasso has personally shaped the lives of over 300 students, demonstrating a selfless commitment to academic success, service, and student development. Her drive to positively influence all she meets is most evident in her tireless work ethic and compassionate care for each individual student. Major Tasso's impact and leadership cannot be overstated, and we are pleased to recognize her with the Friend of the College Award. 
The Dean's Choice Award honors an individual who has made great contributions in health, wellness, and human sciences related fields that extend beyond their profession or degree. This award also recognizes those whose work aligns with and significantly supports the Dean's current priorities for realizing the mission of the College of Health and Human Sciences. Dr. Hollenbeck is a retired faculty from the Department of Nutrition, Food Science, and Packaging. He served as the research coordinator for over 20 years and worked with all the faculty and graduate students in the department with research projects for master's degree and assisted with study design, methodology, data collection, data analysis, and interpretation of results. In his outstanding career that spanned almost four decades between Stanford University and San Jose State University, he has published over 100 articles. In addition to his teaching and research duties, Dr. Hollenbeck has acted as a mentor and provided career counseling to ethnically diverse students and has always gone above and beyond in his service to the department. In 26 years at SJSU, Dr. Hollenbeck has been a pillar of support to students and faculty. With his accomplishments and dedication to the college and his department, Dr. Hollenbeck is awarded the Dean's Choice Award. The Tenure Track Faculty Scholarly Excellence Award recognizes outstanding contributions and activities such as original and theoretical research, creative works, model development, research synthesis, policy research, and other scholarly endeavors during the period of appointment at San Jose State. Dr. Andrew Carter is an assistant professor from the Department of Public Health and Recreation. He received his Master of Arts in Communication Studies at San Jose State University and Master of Public Health and PhD in Health Communication from the University of Memphis. Dr. Carter is a disciplined, talented, and high-achieving faculty member who started his academic career with San Jose State in the fall of 2019. Dr. Carter is currently the coordinator of the department's online Master of Public Health program and serves as the director of the university-wide Undergraduate Research Opportunity Program. During his time at San Jose State, Dr. Carter has produced 11 manuscripts, including eight refereed journal articles published, five of which are first author, and two are published in the field's flagship disciplinary journal. It is also noteworthy that in 2019, Dr. Carter won Top Poster Award, which was presented at the International Communication Association Conference, a flagship disciplinary organization in the field of communication. Dr. Carter's research, which involves a diverse mix of critical and engaged approaches, and methods seeks to answer larger questions related to health disparities. According to one of his colleagues, Dr. Carter is among the top scholars on our campus and his time here at San Jose State has launched what promises to be a successful research career, one that will make valuable contributions to the field of communication, particularly health communication. As an outstanding emerging scholar, Dr. Carter is awarded the Tenure Track Faculty Scholarly Excellence Award. The Tenure Track Faculty Teaching Excellence Award goes to those whose creative instructional approaches create a culture of support for diversity, equity, and inclusion, innovate the use of technology in the classroom, and or the creation of service learning opportunities. Dr. Angie Buckner is an assistant professor in the Department of Public Health and Recreation. She has a bachelor's degree in feminist studies and communication studies, a master's degree in public health, and a PhD in educational leadership. Dr. Buckner is a public health teacher, scholar, practitioner who has developed, implemented, and evaluated community-based programs in oral history, disability advocacy, youth development, personal health and wellness, and caregiver training. As a teacher scholar, Dr. Buckner is committed to preparing students for their academic and professional successes through empowering, uplifting, and elevating students to find their visions and by supporting both content, knowledge, and skill development in the principles and practices that guide the promotion of public health. 
According to one of her students, Dr. Buckner always expressed enthusiasm while teaching and employed creative teaching methods to keep us engaged while learning from home. She was the first of our professors to incorporate collaborative, interactive activities through Google Slides during our virtual classes. Dr. Buckner has also led a career exploration committee to host a series of high-impact career exploration events, including three career panels in the past year alone, featuring 12 professionals and reaching more than 200 students. Dr. Buckner is fully committed to continue to learn from her teaching experiences reflectively in order to provide more relevant and student-centered learning environments where her students can build the knowledge and skills necessary to actualize their career goals and positively contribute to society. We are pleased to award Dr. Angie Buckner the Tenure Track Faculty Teaching Excellence Award. The Leadership for Enhancing Equity and Diversity Award is given to a faculty or staff member who demonstrates outstanding achievement in advancing diversity awareness and knowledge, promotes CHHS policies and practices that invite and reinforce inclusiveness, and serves as an advocate for the interests of underrepresented populations. Dr. Michelle Hampton is an Associate Professor in the Valley Foundation School of Nursing and the Special Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion in the College of Health and Human Sciences. Her teaching, research, and service are designed with the intent to improve health equity for underserved populations by increasing access to health professional education for members of underrepresented communities and by educating current students and practicing professionals regarding health equity. Dr. Hampton is a mentor for faculty, staff, and students, especially from the Black, Indigenous, and People of Color, BIPOC community, inside and outside the School of Nursing. She fosters collaborative relationships with scholars and educators to extend her research and advance more inclusive admission policies in nursing education. Dr. Hampton also co-authored with faculty and students an article on nursing program admission barriers in the United States, considerations for increasing black student enrollment, which also became a featured article in the Nursing Education Journal. For her dedication and leadership, Dr. Hampton is awarded the Leadership for Enhancing Equity and Diversity Award. The Lecturer Faculty Early Career Teaching Award honors faculty who use creative instructional approaches, facilitate a culture of support for diversity, equity, and inclusion, innovate the use of technology in the classroom, and or create service learning opportunities in their course offerings. Matt Crockett is a lecturer from the Department of Kinesiology and joined San Jose State University in the fall of 2016 upon completion of his master's degree in exercise physiology at SJSU. In the classroom, students view Matt as approachable. He is successful at building a supportive culture among students and helping students to see how the class content affects them personally. This is particularly important for students who are the first in their family to attend college. He is also committed to creating an inclusive classroom culture as he strives to put students at the center of his pedagogy. According to one of his students, Matt was always available to answer any of my questions or to give his input on any of my assignments in a timely manner. He has truly made a positive impact throughout my academic journey. Matt constantly seeks feedback from senior faculty to ensure that his classes meet the high standards of the department, as well as to discuss effective strategies for how best to teach important issues such as race and gender in sport and multicultural health. For his commitment to student-centered teaching, dedication to instructional excellence, and in recognition of his effectiveness in the classroom, as exemplified by both student and peer evaluations, we are pleased to award Matt the Lecturer Faculty Early Career Teaching Award. The Outstanding Advisor Award recognizes a faculty member or staff member who excels in undergraduate or graduate student advising and mentoring, demonstrates a commitment to diversity, equity and inclusion, and excellent support. Dr. Timothy Nguyen is the Program Coordinator and Advisor 
for the online and hybrid Master of Social Work program in the School of Social Work. He recently earned his Doctorate of Psychology degree in March of 2022 from California Southern University. Dr. Nguyen effectively uses different strategies to assist students to make firm decisions, to be flexible and supportive. He is also well respected by social work students, which is not a small task given that all of his students are distance and virtual learners, and building working relationships in a virtual learning environment is more time consuming and difficult compared to on campus and face-to-face -face interactions. Beyond his advising roles, Dr. Nguyen not only focused on improving programming, curriculum, and student experiences, he has also been the point person in major upgrades to two major and vital software systems, the school's graduate program application and admissions process and the field internship data tracking and management. According to the director of the social work program, Dr. Peter Allen Lee, Dr. Nguyen is driven to excellence by his passion to serve and make anything and everything within his circle of influence better. He regularly takes initiative beyond his scope of work to assist other leaders in our school, and he is an invaluable teammate and colleague. For his excellent commitment to advising and engagement with students, Dr. Nguyen is awarded the Outstanding Advisor Award. The Outstanding Engagement Award is given to a faculty or program team member who exemplifies the mission of developing and promoting partnerships, particularly in service to high-needs communities, and collaborations between campus and external partners for the benefit of those communities. Dr. Jennifer Schachner is currently the Program and Operations Director for the Timpani Center. For the past four years, Dr. Schachner has led the Timpani Center and worked tirelessly towards the continued growth of the center. Prior to her leadership role at the Timpani Center, Dr. Schachner was the coordinator of the Silicon Valley Healthy Aging Partnership, where she coordinated a partnership that offered evidence-based health promotions programs throughout Santa Clara County. Dr. Schachner is committed to the amelioration of human inequities and the promotion of social justice efforts by ensuring that all residents of Santa Clara County have access to high quality health promotions programs, as well as by mentoring students in how to offer programming in ways that are affirming to all the clients that they serve. Her leadership has been instrumental in ensuring the vibrancy of the Tiffany Center. When it's Tiffany Center was shuttered during the pandemic, Dr. Schachner found ways to offer online programming to center members, and for many months, she was the only staff member holding the center together on her own. Dr. Tamar Samarjan, Chair of the Department of Kinesiology, noted that the Tiffany Center is a place where our students are able to engage with the community, put their skills into practice, and is an important interface between SJSU, CHHS, and the community. Under Jennifer's leadership, we have had many years of success and we look forward to many more. We are pleased to honor Dr. Schachner's dedication and leadership with the Outstanding Engagement Award. The Outstanding Teaching Award honors an excellent teacher who exhibits superior and sustained performance in teaching that impacts student learning. Dr. Emily Wagalter is a professor in the Department of Kinesiology. She received her Doctor of Education in physical education at the University of Georgia. Dr. Wagalter has committed herself to teaching the diverse students of San Jose State University for the past 30 years. She continues to be an innovator, bringing the latest technologies to the classroom and ensuring that incorporation of these technologies leads to significantly improved learning outcomes for her students. According to one of her students, Dr. Wilgalter has not only inspired my own academic journey, but for countless other students. Not one graduate visits campus without stopping by her office. To listen to her lectures is an opportunity itself, as her teaching ethic is so engaging that it is nearly impossible not to hang on her every word. Dr. Wilgalter is also a lifelong learner. She proactively seeks out opportunities to enhance her instructional skills, and she participates in every opportunity that can refine them. Even during the pandemic and the rapid switch to fully online teaching, Dr. Wilgalter's student evaluations remained exceptionally high, and students continue to find her accessible and able to answer complex questions. 
for her passion and dedication to SJSU and tireless support for her students, Dr. Will Galter is awarded the Outstanding Teacher Award. The Superior Faculty Service Award recognizes a faculty member who has made significant service contributions to the college, university, professional, or other off-campus organizations. Dr. Alice Butzlaff is an assistant professor in the Valley Foundation School of Nursing. Dr. Butzlaff has been a registered nurse for 33 years and a family nurse practitioner for 28 years. Currently, Dr. Butzlaff serves as the interim assistant director for the School of Nursing, in addition to serving as the chairperson for the Curriculum Coordinating Committee. Her roles in both positions require a significant amount of time, organization, and interface with faculty and staff and college and university personnel. Professionally and academically, Dr. Butzlaff's philosophy surrounding service is to provide care and reduce suffering. She also believes that every person should experience feelings of being comforted or being at ease, of being treated with respect, and of being healed. In addition, Dr. Butzlaff spends an enormous amount of time supporting the school's diverse student population by providing effective study strategies and mentoring and supporting. According to one of her colleagues, it is difficult to imagine a faculty member who brings more energy, creativity, and professionalism to her work than Dr. Butzlaff. She is well recognized as a leader and someone committed to service to students and her colleagues in the department. During some very difficult times, she was able to press on to demonstrate leadership and service to the nursing school. For a strong commitment and dedication, Dr. Butzlaff is awarded the Superior Faculty Service Award. The Superior Staff Award is given to a staff member who demonstrates outstanding achievement in performing their responsibilities, including efforts to create a climate of support for all in the unit. Sabrina porter Perez is the College Analyst in the Dean's Office at the College of Health and Human Sciences. In the over 10 years Sabrina has been with the Dean's Office, she has helped numerous departments by filling in during administrative staff vacancies along with serving on selection committees to fill those positions. Her position plays a critical role, not only within the Dean's Office, but also providing support to different units in our college. Without her leadership, many departments would have a difficult time meeting university's deadlines. According to Dr. Yoshitaka Iwasaki, Sabrina is an outstanding professional who possesses remarkable administrative, interpersonal, and solution-oriented competencies, yet her kind, caring support and her commitment to excellence are simply impressive and admirable. Outside of work, Sabrina is passionate about mental health advocacy, social justice, and mindfulness. Recently, with the help of Dr. Michelle Hampton, Sabrina started facilitating a monthly meetup group for CHHS staff and faculty with the purpose of exploring mindfulness and providing a space for stress relief, wellness, and community engagement. Sabrina's outstanding support, dedication, and positive personality make her the perfect recipient of the Superior Staff Service Award. Lakeisha Holden is a doctoral candidate in the Valley Foundation School of Nursing. Her doctoral project focuses on an urgent public health concern, which is the rising rates of sexually transmitted infections. She addresses this topic by using a trauma-informed approach that acknowledges the complex social and environmental context influencing health outcomes in this population. She has been a nurse for 17 years, and her career has taken her from the bedside to the classroom to her community. She has been highly intentional in charting her path as a nurse. It is of great importance to her that she can look back at her career and know that she set an example for other women of color and in some small ways has helped to minimize the health disparities that plague marginalized communities. In the beginning of her doctoral program, Lakeisha stood out as one of the top students in her cohort. According to her professor, Dr. Heather Duplazer, I found Lakeisha to be consistently well organized and deeply engaged with the material. She has sustained a high level of academic achievement throughout the program, maintaining a 4.0, despite working full-time in a challenging clinical setting and in the midst of a global pandemic. Lakeisha is an outstanding scholar and clinician, 
a strong advocate for social justice, and as an emerging leader in nursing and correctional health, she is recognized as this year's recipient of the Outstanding Graduate Student Award. Well, let's congratulate all our recipients for their amazing achievements. We have so many ways to do that now, be it chat, message, phone calls, or actually giving a hug in a hallway. Thank you all for attending our annual College of Health and Human Sciences Awards ceremony. Before I close, I'd like to say thank you to Joanne Delamar, who worked so hard to pull all the pieces together to make this an amazing event. I'd also like to thank Associate Deans Travel and Masucci for serving as our event MCs. Thank you everyone for being here today and taking the time to celebrate the important people who make our students and programs and college so successful. This concludes our annual College of Health and Human Sciences Awards Ceremony. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful weekend.